And there's so many disgraceful days, Bob, in this era of Trump and Trumpism and this Republican Party. But today they're having this voting on impeachment based on absolutely nothing, even according to Steve Ducey on Fox News and and other yeah. Republicans who've been quoted over and over saying they have absolutely nothing. They're interviewing Hunter Biden behind closed doors I, I, I and voting down aid for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I, it, yeah. it just it is hard to think of a more like disgraceful trifecta day, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you're a party that's now all about just feeding red meat, uh, Trump steaks in the form of Trump steaks to your audience, steaks. that's that's what it's become. And the Republicans live in this or exist in this information silo. And so therefore, they can feed anything to their disciples that they want to and the disciples will believe it. For example, Hunter Biden and Joe Biden committed all these crimes and therefore yada, yada, yada impeachment. And so no, there's obviously no evidence there. If you really look at the information, there's nothing that they've got on Joe Biden that's at all incriminating anywhere in the vicinity of any sort of crimes. And yet the all the people, all the disciples, all the red hats, just suck it down like coca-cola they just love it so much yeah. and they don't need the details they don't need the information this so, is trump's mo this is what he was doing with Zelensky. don't worry about barisma don't worry about an actual investigation yeah we'll take care of the rest but bob in terms something of trump has said yeah. actual facts i have no idea you know jody yesterday brought us we had sound bites of you know them talking about how great the economy is on fox news mm -hmm. i mean you wonder oh, yeah. if are we yeah. inching towards some common set of facts i saw an economist this morning talking about about how you know inflation has come down far faster than anyone expected this economy is incredibly uh, doing incredibly oh, yeah. well you know and it, but once again said joe biden's not getting credit for it and it, it, it's right it, but i just wonder you know like i i wonder if these idiots watch fox news and hear jason chavitz say he paid 90 dollars for a turkey do they they do they really they think they believe it? Oh, everybody's paying ninety dollars for their turkey. Do they? But they even just, if they didn't. But they just paid twenty bucks. They know they just paid twenty bucks for a turkey. They know turkeys aren't ninety dollars unless you're yep. some organic Uji. soy boy yeah. woke. Yeah. Liberal. Well, I mean, once again, there is no substance to any of these attacks. These are merely attacks based on the fact that all the people that are have been suckered by Donald Trump and been suckered by Trumpism will continue to repeat these things knowing that they're untrue because the entire yeah. thrust of this movement, the Trump movement, is not to be right on everything. It's simply to win. Yeah. That's it, the entire message. The entire idea is, well, we whatever it takes to yeah. come out on top. And, I, and that's all that matters. Was, be the last person sitting in that game of musical chairs and then shut the door behind, yeah. lock the door make sure no one else takes over after that that's the uh, entire goal yeah i was saying yesterday bob my girlfriend talks to maggots for some reason for her business <laughs> but just the whole like it, biden's old but biden's old he's biden's old but biden's old. he's so he's demented and i again eyes ears i i just saw him yesterday with Zelensky. The guy is as sharp as a tack like you yeah. know is he again he had a stutter so he sleeps he speaks a little more slowly and deliberately but like i mm -hmm. see him riding his bike can you do a standing leg stretch i don't think i can without falling oh, over oh no absolutely <laughs> not without falling over i mean i would immediately fall over doing that right yeah. but i mean yeah. i don't that's the thing it's just they're good at repet we're not good at repetition are we Jody? no we don't repeat ourselves we're not good ever. at repetition are we Chris? i don't think we're good that's at repetition no we're terrible at but repetition. they just they repeat it over and over again that Biden's mm. old. And it, it, meanwhile, this big bag of trans fats is three years younger and in horrible shape. Yeah, so what, yeah. how, well, how, go ahead. I mean, I, I've, I've said this on my show a bunch of times, so forgive me if I'm repeating myself, <laughs> but the fact of the matter is that we've seen zero reports in the press about Joe Biden being out of touch, Joe Biden falling asleep during cabinet meetings, Joe Biden, uh, not engaged in policy discussions. These are reports that we're not seeing at all. And we know for a fact that if that were actually happening, if Joe Biden yeah. was, for example, falling asleep in cabinet meetings, yeah. uh, as we've seen from previous presidents before, yeah. uh, that would be something that the press would never shut the F up about. Yeah. It would be constant wall-to-wall, -wall, front yeah. page headlines, Joe Biden falls asleep in cabinet meeting. That hasn't happened. And if it did, again, we would see leaks. We yeah. would see reports about this. Yeah. We would see... Endless garment rending on cable news about, oh, God, Joe Biden. Oh, are you kidding me? He fell asleep during a cabinet yeah. meeting. 
That's well, not happening. My, it's just not. There's no yeah. indication that his age is affecting his job. My girlfriend said, one of them said, well, yeah, but Trump, you know, just he speaks with such conviction and energy. I'm like, so did Hitler. So did so did most <laughs> <Yeah>. liars. <laughs> oh, God. My congenital liars. Um, I'm sorry. We I just, just I have a, something we, that's come across my uh, Supreme Court. <laughs> we'll hear a case involving access to mifepristone, a drug used in more than half of U.S. abortions. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Pardon me, Bob. But yeah, I'm, I'm hearing that. Yeah. Um, we, we just have lost sight in this country of what it means to be a, a, a strong and decent leader. Yeah. Uh, I think Donald Trump has skewed that perspective way off into some other territory where we feel as though, well, the president isn't in our living room 24 seven. So he must be doing something wrong. Right. I mean, that's an effective that's the no, damage of Trumpism a cult. I mean, yeah. the s- suit, it's like they're, they're buying pieces of the Shroud of Turin. I mean, that's exactly what it is. That's right? Exactly what it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah, genuine slivers of the cross. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Remember those things? Yeah. Like someone's I out there just got a piece laugh, of the cross. Don't laugh because things you say is a joke <laughs> to happen. I am now selling the cross that Jack Smith crucified me on. It's the authentic, authentic cross that I was crucified on. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, wasn't there a movie? There was a movie in the '80s where someone was just had a baseball bat and they were just carving off pieces yeah. of it mm-hmm. and selling it as p- chunks of the cross. <laughs> It was Jim Belushi or so, something like that. I forget what movie that was. So, I'm sure I'll hear about it on Twitter now. So. On this Biden is yeah. old thing. Lana tweets, uh, don't like Biden because he's old. How would you like pregnant women and girls to have to show proof of rape or incest if they want an abortion after six weeks? How would you like to have two doctors certify your life or your loved one's life is at risk before an abortion can be performed? Still don't want to vote because Biden's old? How would you like to watch you or your loved one's baby take its first breath and last breath because of abortion bans? How would you like to watch a raped 10-year-old go to elementary school pregnant? Stop playing with our lives uh this ain't cute uh get registered and get ready i mean i yeah. you know that's the thing bob you hate to have to on uh, all of these real life stories that we knew were going to happen after roe fell of course i think are going to be a huge driver to the polls but it, even that yeah. sounds crass to say you know we have to walk across the bodies of all these women to try to regain some sanity in this country. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I actually, on my show yesterday, I called for a revolt in this country where w- women just take over everything. I think we'd be so much better off. Because, I mean, the atrocity in the Kate Cox situation in Texas with the Texas Supreme Court isn't so much that the decision they handed down, the the, the atrocity there is that Kate Cox had to go to the Texas Supreme Court in the first place yeah. as beg to have normal health care and uh, obviously begging a, a panel of judges in which six of them are men who have no concept whatsoever what it means to yeah. have a medical condition that is potentially uh, a deadly, uh, which pregnancy is. Yeah. Uh, as soon as you're pregnant, there's a chance that that pregnancy could kill you. And that is the distinguishing factor that I think gets lost in this conversation a whole lot, which is that, you know, women who are pregnant have this potentially deadly medical condition yeah. that they should have the purview to be able to ameliorate if they wanted to. Someone had a great analogy. that basic. Bob, that not, you know, forget Handmaid's Tale. They went back to witch burning and said, you know, they used to throw a woman in a lake and if she, you know, if she drowned, that means she's innocent, right? Right. She floats, she's a witch. And, you know, they're saying that's what this is. If, you know, a woman has a, you know, life-threatening condition, if she dies, that means, you know. She was right. Yeah. That means that she she really, you know, did have a, 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 you know, under a, what do you call it, factor that would allow abortion. But, you know, really, this is this is where we're at. You know, women have to die to prove that they have a, you know, a a medical exception reason as if, you know, as if women should need one. It's just the whole thing is is just horrifying, Bob. Yeah. I I mean, think about it this way. Think about the level of outrage and revolt that was happening among certain like bro science bro libertarian men when the vaccines were uh being uh, debated in this country and how you know that entire crowd was ready to well in many cases they actually did where there were protests there was some violence and so forth yeah. about the vaccine mandates and the mask mandates yeah. now if women would only do that about yeah. their reproductive rights 